live here at Utah State today, interviewing students on olanzapine, otherwise known as Zyprexa. And is how would you describe a schizophrenic? Schiz. Or you can act out. Okay. Like well, my uncle's schizophrenic. Okay. And my grandpa. Okay. And sometimes you'll hear voices, or sometimes they get ideas in their head and they become hyperbolic. Okay. Schizophrenia. Mm -hmm. Well, it's pretty crazy. People act really weird, and uh, I don't know. They're just—it's kind of weird. Um, someone just—I don't know. Someone who kind of doesn't know what is happening, like one moment, but then kind of does another, and just like crazy person. Woo! Okay. Someone that cannot think about one. Topic for more than six seconds. I feel like it would be both and maybe counseling a little bit. Yeah. I don't think I get shots because I have a cousin who's really good at schizophrenia. So Therapy. So, something like that. Okay, so how often do they get the shots? I think every day. Every day? I think so. I don't remember. And what do they talk about in therapy? Um, I've got these schizophrenia They usually just like let them go swimming and stuff. They go swimming? Yeah. Okay. Rain. <laughs> I have no brain. I think what they're trying to say is like it's for like a brain. Somebody who has like a mental problem, like I know schizophrenia or something, so they're like trying to stuff. Like, oh. Wow. It sounds neat. <laughs> um, a patient with muscular dystrophy, I would say. Okay, and how is it given? Um, well, I feel like it's given through syringe, a very large shot, would be my guess. How often? Um, once every three months. I think we about does it. That helps out with the muscular dystrophy? Yes, it does. Okay, and... Hyprexa is a drug that is given to patients that only have three fingers. Yes, okay. Um, what is Zyprexa and what is it given for? Um, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> 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 Irregular periods. Okay. Uh, is that a good guess? Yeah, yeah. Good guess. It don't taste as good. Not as good brains. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> Extreme happiness. Um, can you explain neuroleptic malignancy? It's when people turn into zombies. Woo! What's your gun for? <laughs> to kill zombies. I have no brain. Neuroleptic malignancy syndrome. That's whenever the um, <coughs> your neurons in your brain aren't firing right, and then the uh, it's just not quite, you're not, it doesn't seem like you're all there and then you make some weird decisions and people laugh at you. <laughs> okay, what is tardive dyskinesia? I believe it is a ED problem. ED problem, mm -hmm. okay. Um, could you expound a little more on what ED is? Um, erectile dysfunction. Oh, okay, that's good enough. That's what I know about ED. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So what is a typical amount of Zyprexa to be given to a person? I'd say probably one pill. One pill? So like, be a little more specific. I don't know, maybe 40 milligrams. Okay. Do you know how it's given? Orally? Probably. Let's say 100 cc. Yeah. What does AST and ALT measure? AST, age, stress, language. That's good. Okay, what about <laughs> ALT? ALT, altitude, length, and time. Okay. Um, they measure um, hormone levels in your blood. They can have high blood pressure, okay. spiky blood pressure, um, dizziness. I don't know specifically, but I do know that a lot of drugs and alcohol do not mix, so okay. I would just say not to. 
Probably going to be in trouble. In trouble? I don't know, maybe they won't be able to talk straight or be able to walk straight. Or... Okay. I think their veins will explode and they'll die internally. Okay, die internally? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bleed out internally. Okay. Thank you. It measures how far you can kick something. I have no brain. What should a woman do if they're breastfeeding and taking Zyprexa? Uh -oh. Again, that depends on what Zyprexa does. Um, Probably ask a professional if she's in doubt. Stop taking it. Okay. What do you think that we should consider when treating a patient taking an infection? Your own safety. Your own safety because because schizophrenic people can be unpredictable. Well, blood pressure, obviously, since it um, has to do with levels in the blood. You know, it's very important, and it just has to happen. Well, there you have it. Back to you, Lulu Maraschino. It's obvious Americans are uneducated about schizophrenia and antipsychotics, Zyprexa to be exact. To better educate the public, we'd like to give a brief explanation of what Zyprexa really is. Zyprexa is an atypical antipsychotic used to treat schizophrenia. The typical dosage is 10 to 15 milligrams daily. Common side effects include weight gain, hyperglycemia, and, sed and sedation. The more serious ones include extrapyramidal effects and neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Lab tests you'd want to monitor are complete blood count, blood glucose, and liver function tests. <clears throat> Contraindications include lactation, liver impairment, cerebrovascular disease, Parkinsonism, and severely depressed states. It is very important when a patient is on this drug that you taper, that if you're going to discontinue the drug, that you taper it slowly to prevent psychosis and other extreme side effects. Instruct the patient to report EPS or NMS immediately so that it can be treated. Alcohol should be avoided and sunscreen should be used due to photosensitivity.